The ministry is 10 years old this year. Uh, we were created to on realization that development uh, is to be fast-tracked through ICTs, ICTs for the common men and women. Uh, we are a, a, a vast country with an area of 824 over, over that square kilometers and a population of 2.4. And we are sparsely populated. It's quite challenging to ensure that every Namibian is covered. But that is the, 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 those are the pains of a nation charting its own destiny for everyone. Uh, we hit the road running by uh, looking at the ICT landscape uh, that, that we found as a new ministry then. We can no longer cry to be new after 10 years. Uh, the Namibian nation has been expecting a lot, rightful so, from this ministry. And uh, we enacted uh, in two years uh, after the creation of the ministry, that was 2009, we enacted the Communications Act, Act Number 9 of 2010, um, uh, and that was uh, a, a, an act that covers a wide, a wide range of communication, new technology uh, uh, issues uh, with thrust on liberalizing our ICT environment, ensuring competition, uh, because with competition there are uh, new ideas, there are riches in, in competition, uh, ensuring that uh, uh, we, we, we had uh, Telecom Namibia as our, our landline operator, uh, which also ventured into mobile telephony. Um, and then uh, we, we, we also moved on to to, to, to bring in an, uh, an overarching uh, ICT policy. Uh, uh, of course, ICTs are fast developing and when you make a law or a policy today to, lay, uh, to, to, to level the playing field, uh, in a year, in less than a year, you, you are already behind schedule uh, with the, uh, the, the rapid development of ICTs and therefore we are constantly uh, challenged to ensure that uh, we, 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 we provide a uh, modern, uh, modern environment uh, for, for operations. We also created with the Communications Act, we created the Communications Regulatory Authority of Namibia, the bodies that is charged with ensuring that um, uh, there is uh, sound management of uh, the natural resource called uh, spectrum and also ensuring that there is fair play uh, in accessing spectrum to various players uh, in a competitive and uh, environmentally uh, friendly manner, particularly with regard to addressing the issue of overpopulating our territory with must, uh, which turns out to be a pollution of the environment. Uh, we have uh, uh, ushered in uh, the need to share uh, the masts. Uh, of recent we found that uh, the masts are too many and have not been able to uh, e enable us to cover the entire population of Namibia. We have identified that those that are not necessary, uh, we, are, we are redeploying them to cover dark spots so that uh, each and every person in Namibia has access to uh, ICTs. Uh, we, uh, we also uh, have the Harambe Prosperity Plan, uh, the government fast-tracking mechanism uh, of, uh, through, uh, of, our, of, our, of our national development plans ushered in by the new administration, uh, uh, which is based on the Namibian house, an inclusive house, the Namibian narrative, and our ICT efforts are aimed at ensuring that by the year 2020, uh, in every asset of ICTs, uh, we have covered 80% of the Namibian population. We are, we are striving towards that. We are also uh, working on the electronic 
uh, transaction and cyber security law is very uh, at it's highly advanced it was in parliament uh, and had to be withdrawn momentarily for further consultation it will see the doors of parliament very soon um, uh, so uh, I, I feel uh, these efforts uh, in as much as we we see them as big we are gr grateful to the world out there the ITU family of nations and the ITU uh, bureau to have noticed what efforts we are making and accorded us uh, the, 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 the honor of receiving the IDI uh, uh, award. We receive this with honor, with humility, and on behalf of Namibia, the SADC region, and the entire ITU family, we are more than uh, 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 grateful. We need to, to build trust, and trust can be built by opening up into private-public partnerships so that everybody feels included, everybody brings to the table uh, the expertise and skills and resources that we have because governments alone uh, cannot uh, harness the resources. The resources are in people. Uh, expertise and knowledge and skills are in people and um, the majority of people do not work in government. They work on their own uh, as individuals, as companies, as pro private professionals and it's only by opening up to them uh, like we do with our quarterly ICT um, uh, stakeholder meetings in Namibia, like we do with our national ICT, annual national ICT summit uh, to ensure that uh, we, we, we expand the space uh, for ICT citizens uh, of the country and the globe. They are improving the ICT investment uh, climate in that uh, uh, they, they, they create road maps uh, within the country for all role players uh, to find their niche uh, and to, to feel acknowledged, to feel appreciated, to feel valued and uh, particularly the investors they know they are not uh, coming into a dark world when they come to Namibia, uh, they come to highways of law, uh, they come to light, they know their investments are protected and uh, are appreciated. It is that inclusivity is the, the kingmaker uh, in any development. Uh, we need to be open, we need to be transparent, we need to be, and uh, peace and stability in a country, uh, it's, it's a great uh, uh, plus. Uh, we need to harness peace and sustain uh, peace.